Welcome back to Frank's Model Aviation Workshop. As you can see, we're making some good progress on the P40. This episode, episode 20, we're gonna sh we're gonna contour what we can on it. This top section. I'm not gonna do anything more on that yet, but I'm gonna contour the uh, side rails into the fuselage. Contour the top. And I'm going to put these in permanently. I'll glue them in, shape them up, get them trimmed up. So if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Like and share my videos. I'd appreciate it. And uh, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. So but without, without further ado, let's uh, get going. So the only thing I have left to do on this before the wing needs to be mounted to do the, uh, the giant wing fillets is the side rail and these window recesses. But I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna get the side rails blended, these mounted, everything contoured. And then I'm gonna work on getting the front end of this plane done with the blocks, the spinner, you know, the engine and all that stuff, get that at least finished up. I won't be able to do any of the bottom yet, but I want to do all that before I go back to the wing, because that way I can say, well, I'm in a pretty good spot to stop. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap here, but I'll show you a good way of making that gap disappear. But first, I want to get these mounted. I'm gonna do that just by sanding this edge. Make sure I got a good edge sanded. I may need to make a little more adjustments on that hole. Gonna, this back side gets glued to that former, so I wanna make sure I get it sanded real good. Give the glue something to stick to. Okay, so all that is sanded and ready to be glued in. And I have access to reach in the back in case I need to push it out some. And I have zero gap so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wick in some thin ca all around that top and you want to make sure you don't drip ca down on that down on your uh sheeting or you're gonna be in trouble. Now, this bottom side, I'm going to turn the, the fuselage on its side to get, I'll see if I can still, still see you. Then I'll wick in here too. Stinks. I don't like that tip. I'm gonna change it. I changed out that tip so I had more of a accuracy. I 
Okay, now I'll turn it and do that inside edge. This edge here. Side. We'll go over and do the other side. Same thing with this side was rough up that edge again. And the edge is gonna touch the former. both of those sides match. I want to do this before I do any final contour sanding. check and feel it make sure it feels the same your hand will be able to tell if it's different now I'm going to run that glue down in there see that be careful around your sheeting Now we're just going to run a bead right along there. Completes that. We got a crappy camera angle. We got that finished. 
All right, now we're going to contour the top, but I'm also going to take my knife and trim very carefully along this edge and get it as close to the fuselage size as I can get without digging into the fuselage. I want to leave a little bit of a lip where when I sand it, it'll be sanded flush to the body side, to the fuselage side. So we'll uh, get prepped to do that. I'm gonna start by trimming this edge here and don't be alarmed if uh, it you know, pops off. You can always re-glue it later because it's gonna take quite a bit of pressure on the knife to, to get that to carve. And you wanna be careful you don't cut into your plywood. So just take your time and endure easy does her. Yeah, pretty close there. And watch you don't cut your finger. Now I'll leave that edge because you can cut that, you can sand that down. Be careful you don't gouge out your side rail. Pretty much just like that. I leave a little bit of ridge so you can sand it nice and straight. I'm gonna come over here and do this side and then we'll do the surround. Same as the other side. You just wanna take her easy and go slow. came off so I could have to glue that back. I'm still gonna I'm gonna continue cutting until I get it trimmed and then I'll glue it. I know my hands probably blocking it but can't help that. Sometimes you just can't get the camera angle you're wanting when you're doing this, because unless you want to mess up your plane. Yeah, a little bit too close to the edge, but it'll, it'll work out. So I went ahead and sanded that before I glued it. So I just held it. It's really loud, that's why I did it, did it off camera. But I got it smoothed out. So I'll go ahead and glue that and then we'll get back on these surrounds. Okay, I already trimmed this top. I wanted to try it first off camera in case I screwed something up. You know, I don't wanna, I mean, you guys can see me screw up. I'm sure you've done it or you've seen it in the past, but what you wanna do, I wanna caution, if you have longer fingernails, and you got a nice sanded sheet of balsa that you're cutting next to, whatever. You want to watch where you put your fingernails. 
or trim your fingernails. But I'm just gonna go along this edge with my knife carefully. Might take uh, three or four swipes. Just take your time. And make sure you got a nice sharp blade in your exacto. And you notice like I got some edge there, that's okay, it'll sand out. I'm gonna go around the other side to get that. Now this, I just might just carve it. Watching that blade, this part of the blade, you don't want to rub up against the your fuselage. So I'm just going to carve it down close, and then I'll sand it. I know you probably can't see this, but you just whittle away at it little by little. I'm just going to see what happens by saying that. Sometimes you have gaps, like right here is a little gap. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little drop of CA, make sure I have my fuselage as flat as I can. I'm gonna put a little drop of CA in that gap. Wipe it away real quick. fills in the gap.
Okay. I'm happy with that side. Let's do this side. Okay, there she is. <clears throat> Both scallops done. And if it was centered under the light, they'd be cast in the same shadow. Okay, now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend these sides in, and that gap there will disappear. I'll show you how to do that. I'll do one side, and then I'll uh, do the other side in fast speed or off camera. But the first thing you wanna do is get it semi-shaped. And when you, when you sand, you don't wanna just sand like this. You want to you want to kind of like go with the contour of the fuselage. That way, you get a nice smooth transition. And don't always go this way. Sometimes you got to go this way. You want to crisscross your sanding pattern. That way, you get an even contour instead of a, something that's oblong or wonky looking. So just take your time and just sand. Let the sandpaper do the work. So now I'm gonna address that, <coughs> this gap, and I'll zoom you in. I guess that's as close as I can get you. Now the way I do gaps, is I just wick a little thin CA in there. Give it a quick wipe. Gap gone. I'm just basically contouring this front side. I'm not going to touch any of this top because that is where the canopy sits and it's perfect. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You want to like 
sight down your fuselage. It's kind of like doing body work in a, on a car almost. Still got a little ridge right here. It's perfect here. I'm just trying not to dig too much into the wood. So we'll try to get her out of there. See so if I go like this, that edge is going to dig in here because it's high. So you gotta kinda figure out a way to do it. See that little gap there? Yep, gone. Almost got that perfect right there. You always want to make sure it, you know, flex that a little bit. Make sure it could be loose. And if that's loose, then you're gonna you're gonna ruin the piece of wood. So I'm just gonna keep on sanding there. It's good. Oops, I just gouged my wood, damn. <clears throat> it ain't too bad. Man, yeah, so close. That's getting pretty thin too, I'm gonna stop. <coughs> As you can see. Starting to get thin, so I'm gonna stop. I'll, I'll smooth it out a little bit, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to sand anymore in that area. Just down here. Just to round it out a little bit. So that's that side. There, I got you in a bird's eye view so you can <coughs> see me sand some of this. I'm just basically feeling. See like over here is nice and round. I'm feeling a ridge kind of here. In here, so I'm just basically sanding on the fuselage side, not up here, just this area. Just till it comes down a little bit and blends.
Feels pretty good. I want to get some of this sanding down, so I don't have to do it a lot of it later. You just want to take your time. <laughs> that might be a ridge I'm not going to be able to get out. I might have to fill that with putty whenever uh, I gloss, glass it. You want to make sure you get as much of this imperfections out before you put your final covering on because it'll all show through. And I don't, I'm not going to do any real sanding down here because I still have some blocks to go on. So I'm liking it so far. in here so I don't put my cover or my sheeting through it or the don't put that thing through the sheeting lightly standing up here.
now that didn't help. Done there. I'm not gonna go any further. This is a little tricky to get to because of that horn or the clavis. I can't see what I'm doing here anyway. <clears throat> that later. I'm holding out on that wood there just a little bit to give me a little more 
room to get in there. That's helping. I don't want to go too close to the front here because I got blocks to, to blend in as well. But I think, I'm, I think I like what I have so far. Pretty smooth. Let's see what she looks like. Thank you. I think I'm going to be happy with that for now, for an initial sand. I know Sparky would tell me to stand uh, closer to the sandpaper. <laughs> Not too worried too much about the rails because it's going to be covered with that canopy. <clears throat> so the canopy goes right about there. 
Now I'm going to concentrate on this top area. Yeah, maybe get a little ridge. Where, your, uh, where the edges of your sanding bar is you don't want to sand a groove into your fuselage. Now onto this. Now the way I want to do this, I'm going to draw a center line <coughs> down that because <coughs> I don't want to uh, make it oblong. So I'll take my clear ruler and a marker because I don't want to use a ballpoint pen because it'll gouge it. I'm going to concentrate on this first. And then I'll draw a center line on this back too. So, I think I'm going to start with, if I can get it. Well, that'd be cool. You just want to take your time up here it pretty much goes all the way down to the to the uh, scallops here Should have enough of them around.
it's still. I always like to draw center lines because <clears throat> you're going to need them. Like, still, I know it's not ready. Ooh, it's getting close. It's getting really close. So I'm getting close to it. If you're wondering why the P40 is upside down, I'll explain. While I was trying to get the canopy to come down even on the top, I kept sanding more and more and more off this to the point where it was like tissue thin. So I'll show you what I did to remedy it, to strengthen it. All that sanding dust I mixed with some 30 minute epoxy and I put it down inside there. So that'll harden and it'll uh, be strong again. Plus it'll be sandable. But uh, I'm gonna have to let this set up for a good half hour or more, probably overnight. So we'll come back to it whenever uh, See if I can get it. 
whenever we can get to it. So anyway, we'll stop the video for now and then we'll get back to it. Okay, now that we're back, uh, I fixed the canopy issue. You saw the epoxy deal that strengthened this whole top side, but I got, I have it set now to where the canopy will sit on there. And it sets on there pretty, pretty good. I'll be able to glue it down anyway, with no gaps. So uh, I really had to shave this forward section of the aft fuselage, almost down to nothing, but I, uh, Filled that whole section here with about, I don't know, 30 cc's of, of epoxy mixed with balsa wood dust. But I got her uh, sanded up. I'll give you a once around. It's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. But I'll uh, bring you around, show you. And then I think this will be the end of uh, episode 20. And... Uh, We'll do the front end next episode. So I'll bring you around and show you. I'll just give you a walk around and then we'll go in and show you what I had to do with the canopy. I still have to round this off and I'll do that when we do the next episode and get the engine mounted with the top cow. But it's shaping up pretty nice. You can see the canopy sets on there pretty, pretty decent. So I'll show you how much I had to shave off. I mean, literally, there's hardly anything there. <laughs> so it's almost like there's no top block right there. But It'll do. It'll fly. That's all I really care about. So there, there she is. And uh, I'm still happy with it. You know, I mean, this is being my first top flight warbird. This is uh, turning out pretty decent. So, all right, we'll uh, end this video here. Okay, this will include, conclude uh, episode 20. We basically got it sanded out, except for the front. Got the canopy fixed and setting on there nice. And uh, installed the window recesses permanently. Uh, when I go to fiberglass, I'm gonna tape off those so I don't get any resin on there. On there. Those are, uh, that was a tip given to me by the uh, expert in charge. So I'll uh, end this video here. And until episode 21, be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>